In this video, you're gonna learn how to automatically copy down your formulas for an entire column. No more manual dragging for every new row. This trick's gonna automate it for you. Let's look at a really simple example so we can understand things from first principles. Let's say we have two columns, A and B, and these are filled with values that we want to add together in column C. Now, one way of adding these columns would be to add a simple sum operation and then drag the formula down to apply to all the rows. However, if we add more values to those columns, we still need to copy the formula down. And this is where array formula comes in. Array formula works with an array of cells. An array is just another way of saying a range of cells. When we select a single cell, we see a single cell address here. And if we select a range of cells, we see a cell range address. For example, if we add array formula to our first operation, in other words, if we wrap our original formula inside an array formula, nothing is actually gonna happen because we are just referring in our formula to individual cells. To make array formula work, we need to select a range of cells. For example, let's write array formula A2 to A10 plus B2 to B10. With this formula, we're telling Google Sheets to add each corresponding value from column A to column B for every row from two to 10. But what if you wanted to make this dynamic so that it automatically copies down and calculates for any new rows that we add in future? Well, to do this, we just need to update our range to be an open-ended range. Let's update our ranges now so that instead of specifying the last row number, we just write the column letter. Now you can see that the sum has been applied to all the populated rows in column A and column B. With this formula, we're telling Google Sheets to sum each corresponding value from column A with column B, starting from row number two and then continuing for every row in each column where data exists. So now as we add more values, the formula will be applied automatically. So that's an overview of how array formula works. You can use this formula to kind of wrap any kind of functional formula in your spreadsheet. You just need to remember that you're working with and referencing a range for this formula to actually work. Next, I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks that you can use when working with this formula. So the array formula lets you copy down formulas that work on a range of data, but as you can see here, it's calculating for all the rows where we don't actually have data. We can add a conditional here to check if the cells that we're interested in actually have data in. In our array formula, we'll insert an if statement that checks whether the length of the first cell in the operation is empty. Great, so now our array formula doesn't copy down to all of the empty rows below. The final tip for using array formula, which you might wanna use, is to wrap it in the top row of your spreadsheet where the header row is, the title of your column. This might help you prevent anyone from accidentally deleting it by writing in the top cell. If we write equals curly brackets, and then the title of the column that we want to be displayed, and then a semicolon, and then we type our formula, we'll still get the array formula applied to all of our rows below, but it will be neatly tucked away inside of this header row so that people are way less likely to delete it. So an array formula isn't really a function that performs operations by itself. It's more like a helper function that you wrap your existing formulas with to help you copy down and automate your work. Now, this is a great way to automate your spreadsheet work, but you can do so much more with your spreadsheet, like creating apps on top of them without any code. If you're interested in learning more about this, head over to glideapps.com and check out our channel for more tutorials.